The only way the doctors can find out if you have effective 7 deficiency is to do some tests. Let's have a look. The first thing we have to do is get a bit of your blood, because that is where the factor 7 is. We bring your blood to the laboratory to do the following tests. Thrombin time, PT and APTT, and a factor count. To understand the tests, we have to know more about the glue we talked about earlier. We already know that factor 7 is in that glue, but that's not the only one. There are different tests to see if all ingredients of the glue are present and doing their job. One of the other ingredients is thrombin, and how quickly this thrombin is formed is measured with the thrombin time. Because you need factor 7 to form thrombin, this will be abnormal when there is a shortage of factor 7, like in a factor 7 deficiency. Two other tests, called PT and APTT, focus on other parts of the recipe. In the PT test, a recipe with factor 7 is necessary for a good result. So this test will be abnormal in patients with a factor 7 deficiency. In the APTT test, another part of the recipe is tested. So this one will be normal when there is few factor 7, like in patients with a factor 7 deficiency. To make sure the problem is in factor 7, the number of factor 7 must be counted. So let's have a look at your friend's blood under the microscope. How many factor 7s do you see? Right, there are about 70 factor 7s there. If we have a look at your blood, we see only 2. In this way, the doctors know that you have a factor 7 deficiency.